Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to skip a Unity free or personal edition intro, splash screen it's also called, and realistically how to skip any kind of intro using just one tool. I found this method while trying to figure out how to make modding easier and faster by having to wait less after each change you want to try out. But this is not just useful for modding, but also just for playing any kind of game that has annoying cutscenes or intros. With my method, you basically turn this kind of waiting, where you wait for the Made with Unity personal edition uh, thingy, and then maybe there was another intro here, and then you uh, press start, and then you have to wait for your spawn. This is also very long, taking maybe four or five seconds, yes. And now maybe you modded something uh, that is specific to the AI, and now you have to wait 10 seconds or so for them to spawn. And uh, you just keep waiting and 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 there we go, there they are. So all this, if you need to do this like 10, 100 times per day while trying to work on the project, uh, this can get super annoying and so this video will help you with that. It will turn all this into this. See, that was about maybe two, three seconds instead of 15. And you can get right into testing or playing, whatever it is you want to do. So how do we get past this screen and all the waiting? Well, for my method, you need to use Cheat Engine. It's a freeware tool that allows you to hack games. Usually it's used to give you more health or infinite health, infinite ammo, such kind of things. Very useful for that. Unfortunately, it also gets abused in multiplayer games. But my interest is modding single player games. So my situation was that I was tinkering with some variables in uh, the NSPY of Ravenfield Beta 1, for example. So for example, I change a value and then I want to try it out real quick. Compile, file, save module, etc, etc. And then I run Ravenfield and uh, have to wait for this. Dun dun dun, can't do nothing. Go to game. Uh, yeah, just get the frag. And now wait for this. Okay, and then now I can finally test it. There we go. And there we go. So I keep looking for something fun to play with. Change this variable, change this variable, change this variable. And compile and file, save module, okay. And start the game again. And again, have to wait five seconds. Whew. Go to the game, press enter, wait, wait, wait. So, to speed up this part, I can use the Cheat Engine. If you don't have Cheat Engine, you will need to download it. And uh, I recommend that you are very careful with that. Do not add this search manager malware or at least bloatware. Press skip, make sure to skip it really. Be careful with other kind of stuff it tries to bundle and during installation make sure not to speed through because there might be another hidden would you like to uh, add this kind of tool or not. Here, here we go. A vast free antivirus. So make sure to uncheck this for example. Oh boy, really annoying. But once you have Cheat Engine running, all you have to do now is hit table and show Cheat Table Lua script and here you will paste some code. The code you can get from this site, the link is in the description. You can hit raw and just select it here. Control C and then Control V in here. And this is a script that first asks you for the name of your uh, executable, or rather the process. Often the process has the same name as the executable, but you can check by running the game. And then in Cheat Engine, you hit select the process to open. And then in this case, I see it is Ravenfield.exe, but our games might have different names. So here, write the name of your game process. Then we have three functions in here. The middle one is a loop, which checks whether app name is running. And if it is running, uh, or is not equal nil, then first of all, it destroys the timer that makes this loop loop and repeat. Then it opens a process, and then it sets the speed hack speed to 20, which means 20 times as fast. Then it waits for one second, or 1000 milliseconds, and then it sets the speed hack speed to one. So basically it, it skips 20 seconds. And then it starts the listen once stops loop, which is over here. 
which basically waits for the application to not be active anymore. And then it will start this loop again. So this way you can just keep modding, closing the application and restarting it. And this down here just uh, launches these loops. And you can change these numbers if things are too fast or too slow. Same, as, uh, same with this one. This uh, checks every half second whether uh, Ravenfield or whatever application you are trying to mod has started or not. Then you just hit execute script and you can minimize this. And if you start Ravenfield, just hit play real quick and just look at that. It breezes through the intro, the Unity uh, logo there. Now we have this part. This is uh, another annoyance. We could skip through this by just increasing the number how long it will actually speed up. For example, if we set this to 5, by the way, let's save this file. And we're just going to restart a cheat engine in case, because uh, I'm not sure if there's another way to stop a script that is endlessly looping. We can just drag the script file onto it. It will ask us whether we want to start the script. Yes. And now we set this to 5 seconds, so let's see how that affects it. We start Ravenfield, we hit play, we hit island, deploy, yep. Okay, okay. So that was a bit too fast, because 5 seconds times 20 is actually 100 seconds. So the enemy helicopter is already over our base. But you get the idea. You get uh, what I'm trying to do here, right? There is, however, another way to do this. Let's just set this back to 1 second. Save it, overwrite, and restart cheat engine. Just gonna drag this in and start it. All right, so there's another wonderful feature of cheat engine. You can go to edit settings and set some uh, hotkeys for speed hacking. So if you go to hotkeys, you have speed hack speed one, two, three, and I recommend uh, for one, you set it to one, two sets to 10, resets to 100, which is for extreme cases, extremely long intros and stuff. And I use the F4, F3, F2 hotkeys for this. Also a toggle, which I don't really need, I think. So once you have that set up, you can just start the game. It will skip for this, but now after one second, it is already back to standard speed. And now if I start the game and hit the deploy button, I can hit F3 real quick. And now, oh, okay, that was too quick. Let's just start this again. Hit F3 again. Oh, okay, okay, this time we landed on, on land. And we can uh, hit it again if we, for example, if we want to test something real quick at another base. We can just skip through parts. Oh, come on. And here we are. Now we can take this boat, for example. So that's how you can skip through any part of the game, really. Sometimes games crash and burn when you do this. You just have to try it out. And again, don't use this stuff on online games, just use it for single player stuff. So these are the two tools that you can use using a script for automatic restarting of the speed hack whenever the app starts again and using the manual hotkeys for manual speeding up and speeding down during the game running. I hope this is useful. Please remember to subscribe to my small side channel to support me. Until next time, ciao!